chop, 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 chop. Happy Saturday, Popo. <laughs> Yeah. Good morning, it's Saturday. I'm back with this boy. Since you had such a deficit of seeing Austin for the entire semester, I thought I would include him and in, I'll probably be in like almost every single day of Vlogmas. Um, I'm accompanying him on an errand to the mall so he can return shoes? Yeah. Return some shoes. Honestly, if I were a perfect person, I'd be already in the library studying my butt off. I, you know, finish my vlog very early in the morning and the rest of the day is really just gonna be me studying. So I thought at least I would include some footage of doing something else. So here is the Beverly Center. You didn't even wanna die once this week. So they don't have the shoe store here and it's been out of business for quite some time but we didn't know that so we came here for nothing. Austin's on the phone right now and is very upset because it's like apparently you have to pay like 10 or 15 dollars to ship it back to them so he's trying to get that cost lowered because there's literally not a single store in LA to return to and he would think that LA would be the one place that would at least have one store to return your stuff to so came here for nothing but at least you got to see some Christmassy mall decorations. Now here's a rant from Austin. If you want to buy shoes, never buy them from finishline.com. They're a shitty store, terrible company. <laughs> Don't get anything from them. Just go to Foot Locker or something else. Rant over. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, how could we not? I'm trying to find some things that would go well on my Christmas list. Yay. And when you smile for real, you make me smile for real. So Hey, my dudes. So, contrary to what I said yesterday, I did not vlog all day today. It is currently dark, although that happens at like, you know, like 5.30 in LA now. Um, and I spent the entire day, which was like half the day really, studying. Fortunately, I could get myself to study and I did pretty much all the work I wanted to do today, which I am very impressed with. It's still not a lot, like I still have a semester to review, but I did one unit, um, but I didn't vlog it because I will vlog boring stuff, but I won't vlog repetitive stuff. Um, and this was something one of you brought up in the comments. It's like, if I'm just studying every single day, it's the same thing. I'm just going to skip that part because you've seen it and it doesn't make sense because you can already like, if you want to see that, you can go back to a different vlog. Um, so if I ever study with like friends or I study in a really cool venue or, you know, it's something else, a different experience, I'll vlog that. But I didn't want to do that today. Um, so to fill up the bulk of this... I know it's only been a couple of days of Vlogmas, but I know a lot of you already had questions about my job. A lot of you just have general life questions since I've been away for the entire semester. So I will be covering those in this vlog in a little sit down talk portion because I know you all crave those sometimes, at least a few times. Before we get into these really interesting questions, one, if you're not following me on Twitter and you actually use Twitter and you enjoy Twitter and like you might ever check up on me, I'd recommend following me. Those people that do follow me on Twitter know that I'm most active on that site. So if you want to get more of me, which I'm not saying you should, because that'd be a lot of cather out, uh, my Twitter is available. And that's how I asked for questions this one time. Um, for those of you that DM'd me, I'm not going to be reading your usernames just in case it was more of a private thing. All right, so questions from real people just like you to yours truly, because we're all just human beings on this planet together. What philosophy do you try to apply to your life daily? Um, I'm always really huge on wherever you are, be all there. So no matter where you are, like really try to be fully present in that moment. That's just literally one thing that I focused on, I think this past fall, like a year ago today. If you're looking for more life philosophies, my Tumblr, which is Catherout with a zero instead of an O, catherout.tumblr.com slash tagged slash quote. That is literally every 
quote I have lived by. Like, I swear, if you want to find more philosophies, they're all on there. I couldn't just say one, but I did say one, so what am I saying? This question says, what is your favorite breed of doggo? Um, and that really has been a shifting answer over my lifetime. I've never had just like one breed that I've really wanted. I'm kind of the kind of person that's like, once you go to the shelter and you meet the dog, like that's the breed you're gonna take home. I don't really have like one breed. Austin's family is super into boxers. Like his dad's side of the family has had like 10 boxers between all the people in that side of the family. So he's like 100% boxer bound. Um, and recently I've been thinking about, you know, when I do have my own apartment, getting a French bulldog. I lost my best friend back in May and her favorite dog, oh wow, I still get choked up over this. Her favorite dog uh, was always a French bulldog. So I think it'd be really cool to kind of honor her in that way and kind of like keep her spirit alive. Um, in dog form as weird as that sounds but like it would remind me of her every day and yes I am still grieving after um six months because grief is a crazy thing ladies and gentlemen um and that is for another video I'm not gonna go into that more in this video otherwise it will be a crying video um has stress ever affected your acne and skin in college and what did you do to remedy that yes 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 um you can literally tell how overwhelmed busy stressed I am by the way my skin looks I don't have any makeup on today and the camera doesn't do a great job of actually portraying the acne on my face but my skin has been at its worst to the point where I think I want to go see a dermatologist just because I don't think it's exactly regular to have this much continual acne um, and it's it's really disturbing because I've been just drinking a ton of water and there hasn't really anything that's worked for me so I think I am gonna try to see if I am I'm willing to invest in a, in a uh, dermatologist because it's just I, mean, I know I could wait for the stress to subside and then my skin would get better but like I don't have time for that. Then I got a lot of questions about what am I gonna miss the most about USC and what am I looking forward to um, with graduation and with USC, um, I'm really, really, really gonna miss the extracurriculars. You don't really get that after college. Like, you can get a beautiful, you know, campus after college if you work at a cool company, and you can get wonderful people in your work environment after college. But like, the setting that I get to interact with people in my clubs and in tour guide and band, like, those are such unique, rich experiences that just don't come after graduation so that's what i'm gonna miss the most because usc is probably the most hyper involved campus in this country like every single person is doing like five clubs and that kind of comes first at usc i feel like um for some people for some people academics definitely are the forerunner in their um day-to-day -day life but i feel like extracurricular wise is like the most fulfilling thing about usc um one of my most looking forward to after graduation being back in the Bay Area, um, you, I didn't know how much I loved the Bay Area until I was here, which is why it's so lovely to get out of your hometown for college, even if just between NorCal and SoCal, like 300 miles, like a five, five hour drive. It's just so nice to have that perspective set. I feel like when I'm in LA, it feels like the whole world revolves around LA. Like you are the center of the universe here. And it's hard not to feel like that just because like everything comes here, everything's happening here, all the media is here, like everything is budding here. And in the Bay Area, you don't feel that way. I didn't feel that way for 18 years. And then I came here, I was like, oh, I'm in LA. Like, why wouldn't anything be in LA? LA is the place. Um, so I kind of excited to go back to the Bay Area and probably not be in the limelight anymore and not be in this zone of like everyone being, I don't even know. I don't know, I don't know. I got a question saying why I don't have a public Snapchat yet or ever. Um, and this is kind of going back to the life philosophy thing. I think I stopped publicly Snapchatting after my freshman year of college. Um, and so I, I haven't posted them even to my personal network of people, like friends, like they don't see my stories either. I only directly Snapchat, which is why I don't wanna open a public Snapchat. Um, but the reason I do that is because um, one of the best pieces of advice I've ever heard is like, if you want, and, and I don't know what podcast this was from, but it was from some podcast and they were saying, Oh no, it was from the book I'm reading. It's called Predictably Irrational. And they were saying the best way to find happiness is to not compare yourself. And we all know this, but it's like, how do you not compare yourself? Well, you don't, you're always gonna pair, compare yourself. So the best way to find happiness is to compare yourself with as few people as possible. And that happens when you have a smaller, closer knit social group. 
Um, and so when you have Snapchat, which is filled with people that are like barely your acquaintance, like people you might have met one time at like a summer camp or something, now they're on your feed and you can see everything they're doing every single day. It's not healthy, I feel like, to check all of that. And I, I still most definitely check other people's stories, but even tonight, like I was studying all day and I saw people going out and doing fun things, which I will be doing tomorrow, most definitely. But seeing people do that and kind of live their life and have like 20 hundred friends in college always just crushes my like self-esteem, just makes me feel so self-conscious. Like, am I doing this right? Am I living college right? Am I really getting the most out of USC? Am I actually having a good time here? Did I just think I was having a good time here? Cause they seem like they're having a So it just like ruins your kind of like psyche and your your mental, um, your mental, your, yeah, you're just your psyche. I mean, I feel like that's just not necessary for your happiness to see what everyone else is doing. So I certainly wanted to stop contributing to that. On the flip side of that, when you don't post, it's like, well, now people think I'm doing nothing. Like I always gotta be doing something. I always gotta be showing that I'm doing something cool. Um, and I just don't wanna really participate in that. So I vlog instead, which is kind of like delayed, um, which I think is better because having it delayed is like, you know, less FOMO for people watching. Cause it was like, you know, that happened days ago. Who knows what I was doing at that point in time. Um, so that's why I don't Snapchat. Cause I really think it's the root of all evil. Um, I know if I had Snapchat middle school I would have been such a sad girl like I would have been so and I was already like like low-key emo in middle school about not having as many friends as other people so snapchat was a deliberate decision on my part it was not just because I didn't feel like it um it's really because I just genuinely don't want to participate in that I also just don't like the app in general because it drains my entire battery like if I want my phone to die quick solution just open snapchat when I have like 22 percent and it'll guarantee to die why would an app do that like what I just I have so many problems with that app just as a piece of technology itself um and then for me to kind of you know pollute the social sphere with like everything I'm doing I feel like I'm already public and like egocentric enough doing YouTube that I don't need to have snapchat as another layer on top of that if that makes sense um this is not to say that if you are posting a snapchat you are entitled and you are selfish um it's certainly lovely to express yourself and do that in that way I express myself in enough ways I do not need that and I also don't really want people to judge the judge themselves by what I'm doing. Um, that's why pretty much everything I post on social media is delayed. Like if I tweet, it's not something that happened in the moment. It's something I've been ruminating on. If I post Instagram, it's a photo taken most likely between the last couple of days and the last couple of weeks. So um, that's where I'm at currently with social media and where I am at with the power of Snapchat. I want to thank you all for being so interactive with me on these vlogs. This is the best part of it for me that I get to interact with you all every single day. I didn't end up getting to any of the job related questions from my vlog, so I will do that on another day. And I also have a lot of mail for my PO box to open, so I'm excited to do that. So there are really crazy things happening, especially tomorrow's vlog. Like if you're gonna skip any vlog, do not skip tomorrow's vlog because it's gonna be jam packed. I might even split it into two parts. It's gonna be that entertaining. I guarantee it. So thank you for watching this one. I'll see you all next time and Catherine out.